So if you thought the Ragin' Cajuns might be complacent after winning the New Orleans Bowl, think again. Sure, ULL made it to their first bowl since moving to the FBS, and they won that game, but there's still plenty for these Cajuns to improve on. Well, the expectations, you know, I think, obviously have changed, uh, not just from our fans or, you know, uh, students or alumni, from, from ourselves. And, and we know we still, uh, even though we did accomplish one of our goals this year is to win a bowl, go to a bowl. One of our goals was to be undefeated at home. But now, you know, still our, 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 our goal is to win the Sunbelt Conference Championship on top of that. We have the same team goals as we did last year. And um, the, the only one that uh, we, we didn't accomplish last year was the conference championship. And I think, I think that's what's on the seniors' mind is uh, they want a conference championship ring. It will be hard for Brett Bear to top last year. The kicker became a rock star on campus after nailing the biggest kick in school history. There's definitely uh, a lot of people on campus that stop you and just congratulate you, but um, a lot of, uh, right after the kick and after the game and stuff, it, it was awesome to uh, hear from everybody back home. Another player that will have a hard time beating what he did last year is quarterback Blaine Gauthier, who as the season went along and right through the bowl game, just got better and better. Oh, I definitely became, you know, more calm uh, than anything. Uh, you know, having those guys behind you uh, 100%, and uh, the fellas, you know, they embrace it every day that we just continue to get better and better every day. And we just, you know, we want to continue to do what's, uh, you know, what's right. He didn't even begin the year as the starter. And as his season progressed, he become way more comfortable in the pocket. And uh, I just thought I did a great job of executing our offense and, and making making some big plays. And But, you know, his game still, uh, it, it can be improved, and he knows that. Perhaps the biggest challenge for Coach Hudspeth in year two beyond meeting expectations is rebuilding his defense, who returned just three starters from last year's squad. Luckily, though, we played a lot of young kids last year, got a lot of playing time, and uh, their, their progress was probably sped up by having to play as much as they did. And so hopefully uh, we'll be able to come out of spring with some guys that uh, – will be in position to come into the fall camp and, and fight for the starting position. We just got to come in, you know, um, prepare and just um, keep um, learning and just uh, get the um, new guys in and just and work with them. We're looking to improve. We, we want to be better on the defense side of the ball despite losing so many players. So the D is a work in progress while the offense looks to keep cruising like they did a year ago. The bar has been raised with the Raging Cajuns. Now it's no longer can they get to a bowl, now it's, can they win another one and win a conference championship? In Lafayette, Paul Boron for CST Tonight.